We know the headlines have been pretty negative recently. It's important we tell those stories, but something good happened today that's worth sharing. A house fire on Cape View Avenue in Norfolk could have been another tragic headline. Luckily, someone stepped up and saved the day. Robert Boyd has the story you'll see only on 13 News Now. 10-month-old AJ is your typical toddler who had anything but a typical day. He has no idea the danger his family was in. I ran up to him, I held him, and I cried. Like, that was the only thing that I really cared about. His mother, Bree, was at work when she received the heart-wrenching news. I got a phone call from my mom saying that everything was on fire, so I rushed home from work. Her roommate, Brandon, was one of four people inside the condo at the time of the fire. He said it started in the garage and spread to the roof in a matter of 60 seconds. Uh, all of a sudden I seen black smoke billowing up and uh, I didn't even go down there and look. I just started grabbing everybody. Brandon used to work in law enforcement, which helped him to remain calm. With a baby in one arm, a grandma in the other, and a friend tugging on his shirt, he guided everyone to safety. Our only exit was through the smoke and out the front door. Outside, AJ was consumed with hugs and kisses from a very relieved mother. Honestly, I owe Brandon so much because, like I said, that kid is the most important thing to me. I really don't know what I would have done if something happened. According to Brandon, AJ didn't even shed a tear. He was fine. We got out so quick that I don't think he really realized what was happening. As for the condo, it's considered a total loss as firefighters worked for hours to douse all the hot patches, leaving a family displaced yet still feeling very fortunate. When you look at the house, you know, obviously we've lost everything. These are the only clothes I have now, but that's all material, you know, material stuff, which that's okay. Everyone got out safe and that's all I care about. Robert's live in Ocean View now and Robert, it doesn't look like there's much of that building left. Nicole, uh, first of all, it's fortunate that more uh, damage didn't take place because this condo is directly connected to a couple other condos, but the main damage was limited to this one right here, as you see right here behind me, uh, basically left unlivable. Now, as we walk back further, this is the garage. Look at this. This is actually the garage door, all that's left of the garage door, I should say. Now, according to the people who live here, there was car repair work being done in this garage we're looking at right now and apparently they were doing some kind of welding possibly even a blowtorch being used and they believe that is what sparked the fire some sort of accident took place and as you you heard from the witnesses it was only a matter of seconds before the fire in the garage took the whole building up in flames but once again the good news is everyone made it out alive yes thank goodness for that thank you robert